Hi guys this is sixth part of creating of chat application with PHP using Ajax jQuery and in this part we will discuss how to send chat message to other user. For this on index.php page in jQuery code part we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this we have write click event, send chat button class send chat and function. So when we have click on chat dialog box chat send button then it will execute this block of code. Under this block we have write to user id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id, this code will fetch value of id attribute which store under to user id variable. Below this we have write chat message variable is equal to dollar with text box id chat message with to user id variable with value method, this code will fetch value from text area field and store under chat message variable. Now we have start write ajax request and under this we have write url option set to insert chat.php page, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and in this we have write post method, so we have use post method for send data to server. In this option we have write data and here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write to user id variable value and chat message variable value which we have send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and this function has received data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this success message we have write dollar with text area id chat message with to user id variable value with value method with blank value, this code will clear text area field value. Below this we have write dollar with division tag id chat history with to user id variable value with html method and under this we have write data argument. Here in this data argument, it will receive chat conversation data between two person has been display under this division tag. Now we have go to insert chat.php page and here we have write include statement with database connection.php page, this code will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function, this function will start session on this page, so we can access value of any session variable on this page. After this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key double colon to user id value get from dollar post to user id variable value, this is user id to whom we have send message. In second key we have write double colon from user id value get from dollar session user id variable, this is user id who has send message. In third key we have write double colon chat message value get from dollar post chat message variable and double colon status key value set to 1. So here we have store chat data under this dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into chat message table with table column like to user id, from user id, chat message, and status values get from double colon to user id, from user id, chat message, and status. This is simple chat insert message query, 
Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute this query we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. After successfully insert of chat message then after we want to display all chat message to particular user, for we have go to database connection.php file. Here we have make one function with name like fetch user chat history with three argument like dollar from user ID, dollar to user ID and dollar connect variable, this function will fetch chat conversion of two person. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from chat message where from user ID is equal to dollar from user ID variable and to user ID is equal to dollar to user ID. Or from user ID is equal to dollar to user ID variable and to user ID is equal to dollar from user ID variable. Order by timestamp in descending order. This is simple select query for fetch chat message of particular two person and it will fetch data in descending order of timestamp table column. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute select query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will fetch data and store under dollar result variable. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to unorder list tag with class is equal to list unstyled bootstrap class. Here we have used this tag for display chat conversation. After this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row from user id variable value is equal to dollar from user id variable value. If this condition true that means particular user has send message to other user and here it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar username variable is equal to you. But suppose particular chat message has received from other user then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar username variable is equal to get username function with two argument like dollar row from user id variable and dollar connect variable. So suppose user has received message from other person then at that time it will display name of that user which we can get from this get user name function. So first we have make this get user name function with two argument like dollar user id variable and dollar connect variable. This function will return user name based on value of user id variable. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select user name from login table where user id is equal to dollar user id variable. This query will return particular user details from login table.
Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute select query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch data and store under dollar result variable. Now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this variable we can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write return statement with dollar row username variable, this is output of this function which return username a particular user based on value of dollar user ID variable. After this we have moved to write code in fetch user chat history function, and here we have write dollar output variable and in this we have append HTML code. First we want to display username value on web page so here we have write dollar username variable and after this we want to display chat message text so here we have write dollar row chat message variable. Below this we want to display date and time of chat conversation, so here we have write dollar row time stamp variable. So this way we have store chat message under this dollar output variable. Now we have write return statement with dollar output variable, this is output of this function which return history of chat message conversation between two person. After this we have go to insert chat.php file and here we have write echo statement with fetch user chat history function with three argument like dollar session user id variable, dollar post to user id variable and dollar connect variable. This will send chat message data to Ajax request which which display under chat message dialog box. Now we have check output in browser. Here friends first we have refresh page and here we have login as John Smith username and on web page we can to user online on web page for chat. So here we want to chat with Peter Parker so we have click on chat button and chat dialog box pop on web page, so here we have write hi Peter and click on chat message. Of con After click on send button text area field value has been clear and above we can chat details with you as John Smith with message like hi Peter with date and time of conversation. So this way we can send chat message to particular user, now how can see this message to Peter Parker user this things we will discuss in next part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.